Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. In my previous video, I showed you how to install ROMs over network. And the video before that, I showed you how to install RetroPie 4.0 on your Raspberry Pi. In this video, I want to show you how to connect your Bluetooth PS3 controller to your Raspberry Pi running RetroPie 4.0. It's very simple. Before we get started, we're going to need another controller or keyboard connected to our Raspberry Pi. Now that's because after we set up our PS3 controller Bluetooth driver, we're going to need a way to enter the menu and go to our controller configuration to set up the buttons on our newly connected Bluetooth PS3 controller. So here I have a keyboard connected and I'm going to set this up. So here I have my PS3 controller plugged into my Raspberry Pi and I've been using it for the past two videos. What I want to do is press start on my controller scroll down to configure input and I'm going to set up my keyboard as a controller. Now this is to navigate the menu to install the PS3 controller driver and then we'll need to come back out go back to this menu and set up our PS3 controller. It might sound complicated but it's very easy you can also use another controller if you'd like but I have opted just to plug in a keyboard I had laying on my desk. So here I'm going to hold my A button you can see it was a keyboard, configuring keyboard. I'll just use my arrow keys for up, down, left, right. Start will be Q, select will be W, A will be A, and S will be B. Now those are the only ones we're going to need right now, so you can set up your keyboard any other way you'd like. And press A. So now, we need to enter the RetroPie menu. We're going to scroll to RetroPie Setup. From here, scroll down to Driver and press Enter on your keyboard. Scroll down to PS3 Controller and press Enter on your keyboard. Install from Source. You will need to be connected to the internet, either Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Because when we install from source, it's going to download the Bluetooth driver for the PS3 controller and install it. Press enter. So when it's done installing, we'll scroll down one to configuration options. It's just going to give us a warning and tell us that we can't use any other Bluetooth devices when we're using our PS3 controller. Right now I have a 2.4 gigahertz dongle plugged in for my keyboard. I'm not worried about it because the only Bluetooth devices that I want to use are my PS3 controllers. I'll press OK. Install Pair PS3 Controller. Press Enter. The driver and configuration tools for connecting PS3 controllers have been installed. Please connect your PS3 controller now or anytime to its USB connection to set up Bluetooth connection. So right now, I'm going to plug in my PS3 controller here. Let it sit for 5 to 10 seconds. We'll unplug it. We'll press our PlayStation button in the middle of our PS3 controller. You should feel it vibrate. And you are now connected to Bluetooth with your PS3 controller. We'll press OK. Go to Cancel. Back. 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 And exit the RetroPie setup. We're connected to Bluetooth with our PS3 controller, but as you hear my controller here, nothing's happening. That's because we need to set it up. That's why I had you connect another keyboard or another controller. Whatever button you map to your keyboard for start, press that. Mine is mapped to Q. We'll scroll down to configure input and press A. One gamepad has been detected. I'm going to hold the A button on my PS3 controller. And my A button on my PS3 controller, I usually use the O button. I'm connected to Bluetooth with my PS3 controller, and I'm now going to set it up. So I am now using my Bluetooth PS3 controller wirelessly with my Raspberry Pi 3 in RetroPie. 
and it works amazingly. This is the way I love to do it. I used to use a wired Xbox 360 controller because I didn't own a PS3 controller. I actually went out and bought a DualShock 3 just for my Raspberry Pi. So that's it, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe because they have a lot more coming. If you have any requests at all, leave them in the comments below. If you got any questions, leave them down below, and I'll try my hardest to get back to you as soon as possible. Like always, thanks for watching.